Hey folks, your OS Reviews, you're watching our video first look and unboxing impressions of the Spice Box and Toxie case. This is a hard shell case that's designed for the iPhone series. We have an older version for the iPhone 4 and 4S today in front of you, but it also is made for the iPhone 5, 6, and 7 generation models. You can see that it's a soft touch material case, which uh, makes your phone slightly easier to grip, but its main selling point is this bottle opener that's embedded onto the back in this slightly more elegant way than I see on more generic Shenzhen based cases but obviously this one is geared towards fans of beverages and beers so it might make sense again if you do like wine and you want a bottle opener embedded with the case for your phone. Um, otherwise it has also this interesting companion app that's been designed by the same company. It's pretty hilarious but um, it's this interesting app that uh, tells you how many cans you've opened as you've used the phone so that it counts this in a digital fashion and, and shows it off in multiple ways. So it's a free application that you can download if you want to. It tells you again it's an ultimate drinking experience of free. And toxic case app is included with the case, automatically detects when you crack open a bottle and offers exciting features. You can invite friends and share the fact you've been enjoying a cold one after checking into your local tavern. So it's a counter that probably uses the accelerometer on the phone. So whenever it senses the gravity uh, sensor or the tilt, when you open up the app, it's going to say that you've opened up a bottle and you can count it and look at, you know, lifetime how many bottles you've opened. So it says durable stainless steel 304 bottle opening element uniquely designed to maintain the iPhone sleek design. And at the same time, it has, again, a polycarbonate frame, which means that if you drop the case, the inside color is still going to bl be black and it's not going to show tear and wear quite as easily as painted or coated layers of plastic. So let's open this up and see what we have on the inside. So we just remove that and it looks like we have just the case itself. So the first thing I'm noticing with this case as a point of con is the bottle opener protrudes from the back quite a bit. And that means the phone is no longer going to sit flush on a surface. This is already a point of critique with the camera hump on the iPhone 6 and 7 generation models. So this really just uh, continues this issue to some extent. It might wobble a bit more if you're watching videos or maybe thumb typing with your phone on a flat desk. But as far as cases go, it's actually really not bad. It's again the soft touch material and it's easier to hold for sure. It doesn't attract too many fingerprints either. And the design of the bottle opener is actually quite rugged as well. Um, it has these curved edges to it, but it definitely will work in terms of opening up your beverages and uh, doesn't look quite as ugly or industrial as some of the other bottle opener cases for iPhones that I've seen on the market. There is the Intoxic case logo down below. You can see this centerpiece with the stainless steel is slightly reinforced maybe by added plastic in the back here that's been taped on. And the back of the phone just includes also a QR code that you can use to download their application. So they are really trying to push this app, but uh, it's really a novelty thing if you want it. You can see it's designed in California, assembled in Shanghai. You can slide your phone into place and then snap the phone into place as well. There isn't too much rubber on the inside, so there's not as much shock absorbency as I would like, but there's a few lips and edges so that uh, it prevents the phone's display from scratching when you set it on a surface or a desk. There are precise cutouts for the camera lens, the flash, in addition to the volume controls, power switches, headphone jacks, and speakers, and 30 pin connector or lightning pin depending on your phone. The site also features some basic logos from the sponsors and companies making it. So overall, as far as the phone case goes, it's really not bad. The only, again, concern here is just this this lip that uh, makes it difficult to really sit flush on a surface and the fact that it is slightly heavier than a normal phone case just because this is truly stainless steel so it might have a slight hump uh, when you put it in your pocket and the weight distribution isn't quite even but anyways aside from these minor things it is really a interesting case to say the least uh, certainly one that might cater to a niche audience but if you like what you're seeing definitely take a closer look so thanks for watching this video first look unboxing first impressions of the Intoxicate series.